Okay, I'm back at the airport. There's no balloons. I think they go up in the morning. There's Prudence. Good morning from the neighbor next to me, the obligatory, I actually don't know if that's a van life van. There's no max van. Oh, there's solar panels. Okay. <laughs> um, there is the obligatory leaf blower. I'm at Cracker Barrel and uh, yeah, the balloons are out. I think the Exxon Mobil one's going to end up landing at Denny's. So they only go up in the morning, very early in the morning and in the evening, and something is on fire. I see smoke. What the hell is that? I see smoke. I'm going to drive over and see what that is. Hang on. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 people, 15 plus me, who stayed here last night. It looked like it rained. It's a little bit wet out here. Maybe that's Cracker Barrel mowing the 10 feet of grass that they have in front of their store. Anyway, um, there are quite a number of people too. Oh, there's seven more people over here. <laughs> Lots of camper vans and RVs. Uh, a lot of people sleeping in their cars in this city, um, which is, you know, fine. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's no, we've got, okay, so we've got about 25 people staying here overnight, and that's perfectly fine. So yeah, I used to stay at the gravel lot, which is actually another 20 minutes down, but Cracker Barrel actually works out fine. You can just stay anywhere in the parking lot. I don't think they care. I'm at Balloon Fiesta Park. There are, okay, there are trailers that have the balloons in their trailers. Okay, so I guess everyone is setting off balloons in their parking lots. That's pretty cool. Okay, I get how this goes now. Everyone brings their balloon. They have all these parking lots where they set them up and you can see all the baskets and everything. I'll tell you something, there's another one. Yeah, all these people. And so that's why, okay, I was following some people on Instagram. That's what they were doing, is they were kind of helping to fold up the, um, fold up and launch the, the balloons from parking lots. So yeah, so everybody's got their balloons. That's really cool. Oh my God, so I'm gonna drive down to the park. It's not open yet. And maybe I can go talk to some people about how to set a balloon up. I've never seen it before. I have no, I know nothing. I didn't even know that the thing was happening today. So the, yeah, each balloon has, oh, there's like groups and groups of people. This is great. Each balloon, ha balloon basket has a number on it. So I guess they have a competition as well. So let me go, let me go talk to the cops about how any of this works, because I have no idea. This is really cool, but I'll show you the balloons. It's a little dark and uh, cloudy right now, but yeah, so there's, uh, it's funny, there's a Smokey the Bear balloon. And I'm like, I don't know if like, how does that work? I mean, he's like, I mean, the balloon needs fire to, to propel itself up, you know, it's like, it's all the balloon is, is fire. Anyway, okay, let me go over and talk to these cops over here. This is so random. I, I didn't know this was happening this week, and I just happened to be in Albuquerque for four days till I fly home, so let me go talk to the cops. How does this work? Because I keep seeing parking lots of people with, like, all their balloons and stuff. Is this, like... Because I, I bought a ticket for the Fiesta Park, and yes. what does that mean? I just... I don't know when what... When did you buy your ticket for? today oh just the general admission any day okay so um the, the general admission there's certain parking lots for that and there's different events that happen down on the field okay. so there's a bunch of different events every single day okay. on the weekends it's called what's uh, it's called a mass ascension okay. so that means all the balloons all take off at once yeah yeah i just cause i just flew in yesterday i'm only here until friday then i fly home again and okay. then i come back but um yeah so it just said like general admission morning or afternoon session it didn't give any other information about where yeah. i go what parking lot so if you just go right up here to a street called san mateo yeah you'll take a left okay take san mateo all the way as far as you can go yeah, I've got the direction to, to the Balloon Fiesta Park. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so what I got. there's okay. all the general admission parking is all that way. Okay. Now I keep saying so. How does so all these people bring their own balloons? Yeah. So is they, that's like, they're how, not what, part of the events for today. So they're out here just doing their own they thing. Got, they just happen to have a balloon in yeah. their backyard, and they yeah, just gonna so launch it. They, okay. This is what they do all the time, but. Oh, There's cool. special events going on down there today. Okay. If they're not a part of it, they just go do their own thing and they're all here for the week. And okay. then on the weekends, they all go up together down so, on the field. So all those balloons and then the one guy that's trailing down to Las Cruces there that went the wrong way, like all those balloons are just, people just bring a balloon and People launch. own them, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they own them. Why do you own it? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just having to have a balloon, you know, just having to be in my garage. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I saw on uh, Instagram, people were like, running around like folding balloons up balloons were landing in people's backyards they yeah. were like is that kind of just how it works it's just how it's, it's how it's always <laughs> been 51 years really yep i love new mexico it's so nutty okay <laughs> cool okay well i guess i checked that so 
I, okay, so I wouldn't be hanging out with these people. No, right? no, okay. there's different events going on down on the field. Okay. So you would be doing something different. Okay. Yeah. So all just right. watch, your, watch out for all this traffic. And then, like I said, take a left on San Mateo and then take it all the way in. Yeah, in the advertisements in the airport, they had like Smokey the Bear as one of the balloons. I'm like, yeah, how there's does that... all. So there's a special shapes day, there's races okay. that they do. And then there's mass ascensions where they all go up together. It's funny, like Smokey the Bear, though, like you need fire to propel it up. Like, stop, like how does that work? Because he doesn't want fire. Yeah. And then it's like, <laughs> that's why like, they did it. It's a one balloon. Like, this makes no sense. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Take care. All right. So that is hilarious. So these guys, I'm going to go over here and just show you what these guys are doing. Everyone just brings a balloon. Like, how do you just have a balloon? That's so crazy. See, I'll show you over here what he's doing, what they're doing. They're all just standing around and they're going to put these balloons together and just launch them. So there's like two down there and that's what they do. They just, the cops are like, yeah, we just do the balloons. So hang on. So here's a bunch of people in the parking lot. So they've got like, you see those numbers on the back, like over here, it says like 174. So they all just happen to have balloons and they're just gonna like put them all together and launch them. <laughs> it's like amateur hour. I'm sorry, I don't trust that. <laughs> it's like the balloon sits in your like very warm garage all year and then you launch it though, it's, it's pretty funny. So there it is, there's balloons and there's more balloons. There's probably gonna be a ton more today. This is cool, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, so this is the balloon museum and then the media is down here so yeah there's more balloons this is cool so they have all these events people are up early dressed warm so i'm trying to find the media i want to go talk to someone about disability access bike ballet so you can ride your bike over here so this is great this is beautiful wow Okay, so he sent me down here to the media section. I want to see what the ADA is like. Oh, there's a British one. It's a British balloon. That is super cool. Okay, so let me see if I can talk to somebody. Oh my God, there is thousands of people here already. That is nuts. And I think I'm going the wrong way. So let me figure out authorized vehicles only. Okay. So yes, that's the uh, that's the festival down there. Okay, so I'm just parked over here. No one seems to care if I'm parked there. <laughs> this is really cool. So yeah, everyone's real chill. There's cops down there. Um, it opens at eight o'clock, but there's a thousand million people here already. So I don't know why that is. I can't go down this road. This says authorized vehicles only, but that's a, that's a permanent sign. So I think it's just the way the fairgrounds are. I don't think I can get in down there. I think it's just, yeah, authorized people. They've got so many unique uh, balloons. I don't know if you can hear what the cops said. This team Great Britain. I don't know if you hear what the cops said. He said like there's um, uh, different um, like animals. There's um, what is it? Uh, like different shapes for the competition. There's also I don't know what the other competition things are, but yeah, there's Team GB. <laughs> there's my Brits. So I want to talk to somebody. I want to get down there and I want to figure out where to park. I should go talk to the cops. I'll leave my van running. So let me, <laughs> that's what I love about New Mexico. Everyone's so chill, they don't care. Anyway, in the meantime, I do need to get new tires. These tires are horrible. There's no tread left on them. So I am gonna get new tires. I had a cool discount tire in a little bit and get that sorted. I don't know if I wanna like venture all the way down there though. It is really cool. And all these RVs and buses up there. How do I park in that parking lot? That's where I want to be. Just camp out there. I guess people stayed here overnight. I don't know how to get into any place. I didn't even have parking. It's $20 to park. The guy just let me through. So maybe I can just stay here all day. 
Maybe this is all I need to see. I'll come back next year and do something real. But you can see them launching the balloons down there. Let me see if I can show you what they're doing. Let's zoom in. So you've got Darth Vader. They're getting launched. So I guess that's what everyone's watching is the balloons getting inflated and then launched out. They must have hundreds of these. I like the one that's like going off course. <laughs> they're all like being blown toward the airport. That's crazy. Team Great Britain's coming back. They have Koa. A fancy car. <laughs> it's like you gotta have money to do this. It's like very elite. Um, so let's see who we can spot over here. We've got Darth Vader, we've got the Lion King, we've got KOA, which is uh, the RV parks, we've got the Britons, the Brits coming across the pond like um, Phileas Fogg. <laughs> what is it, Phineas Fogg? The Around the World in 80, 80 Days where um, he went in a hot air balloon. Um, we've got Yoda. Um, we've got the uh, a pink elephant. I think this is just a giant advertisement. And we've got um, Captain America. Who else do we have? This is really fun. Okay, there's Yoda. He's over there. He's crashing into the museum parking lot. They do move pretty fast, but the wind is going toward the airport. So everyone's kind of going south right now. We've got Darth Vader's getting launched. It's so funny, it said it opened at 8 o'clock and these people have probably been here since, you know, the crack of dawn. It would have been nice to like park overnight here, but I know nothing about this. And there's very, very little information. Nobody answered for the media either. So I'm trying to think how I can get down there <laughs> and talk to someone. There's Colorado creeping in. It's like, go back north, please. No, just kidding, Colorado is nice. There's Britons back over there. We've got penguins. We've got three different kinds of penguins. I think one might be a puffin. We've got a cow. We've got rainbows, Lion King. We've got elephant hugging somebody. Rainbow riders. Again, another Captain America. This is beautiful. So the couple next to me were telling me that they were uh, in a gas station yesterday and a balloon just landed in a gas station. I was like, okay, open flame, flammable liquids, and your vehicle. <laughs> so I guess they just go wherever. I mean, you know, it's however long your gas lasts on this thing. It's pretty cool, but there's like, I would not be in the, uh, literally like, my sister and her uh, husband went in a hot air balloon one time, but I will never ever go in a hot air balloon. I, I know it's science, but it's a little bit like out of my control. <laughs> so and there's Albuquerque. Visit Albuquerque. Absolutely. You must. It's beautiful. Such a quirky place. All of New Mexico. I love it. All right, so I called Discount Tire because uh, I can actually feel that the tread is completely, completely messed up. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see anything, but it's all bumpy and that's why my van is like all over the place. So these are great tires. These have lasted me two years, a lot of miles, but I do need them replaced because I am bouncing around right now. So yes, yeah, so I'll get the new tires put on. I just get the alignment done. Uh, but yes, we got Smokey the Bears out. <laughs> Apparently the cop said it was a joke, like because you need fire to like propel these up in the air. We got Sundance balloons. I'm just reading what's on there. Colorado is infiltrating into New Mexico again. It's like someone said that Montana was what Colorado used to be. Uh, so, but yeah, it's funny because Colorado is so like, people go, oh, I love Colorado, but it's so rigid, rigid, like, um, like conservative and, um, like not diverse and just very elitist. You get to New Mexico and it's like, everyone's welcome. Everyone loves everyone. Rainbow flags everywhere. <laughs> okay, New Mexico's over there in the blue balloon but, uh, next to the rainbow one. Okay, Colorado's trying to get with New Mexico over there. It's funny, it's only like 50 degrees. It's cold and windy, but the sun feels really, really good. I don't know, this is like my happy place. Prudence is happy place. One day she will have a New Mexico license plate that will say Prudence. <laughs> I was going to get one for, for uh, Texas, but I don't want to like jinx myself and have to stay in Texas for like 
eternity. I would like to at least be able to, you know, have at least a vacation home somewhere. Although I have one that has a steering wheel. This is fun. I think this is like, once you've seen these, I think it's okay. Unless you're participating, like helping, doing something. I think maybe next year I'll volunteer. This is something I would love to volunteer at. Even as a vendor or something, I could help out, like just to be around people and, you know, see everyone having fun. But other than that, I think 20 minutes watching this is probably about enough. Save myself $20 in uh, parking. <laughs> so $15 ticket. So I don't know. I don't actually know. There's no information on like what exactly you're supposed to do. It just said $15 ticket to get in. I don't see any ticket vendors. I just see everyone just kind of chilling and hanging out, wrapped in blankets and hoodies. So I think it's cool to watch it. I think this thing is I can just go over to any parking lot in town and go watch a balloon being set off. <laughs> that's what's funny. Maybe that's more fun. Like go to amateur hour instead of being over here. But yeah, there's Prue. So I'm waiting for the, uh, I'm waiting for the uh, discount tire to call me back. They're going to go get the tire. They've got one tire. I ordered two and apparently only one is there. So I'm going to go wait for them to call me back and then I will go over. Um, see, they have P uh, POW MIA. So I want to see what they do for the veterans here. They have to have some sort of like veteran organization that enables veterans to like do this kind of stuff for like PTSD and like trauma survival. So I wanted to talk to somebody. You can't get a hold of anybody at this place. Uh, I wanted to talk to somebody about um, what they do for veterans. Like if they do anything with veterans, take them up in balloons or something or help them overcome their trauma, PTSD, anything like that. I haven't found anything that other than these are just a bunch of people that own balloons that put them up in the air. So it would be nice if they had some sort of um, like organization that can, you know, any because anything to get through PTSD, anytime you're doing any sort of activity or, um, you know, trying something new, getting out of your comfort zone to try to overcome your, um, you know, your trauma, um, anything like that is absolutely super helpful for people that are trying to just navigate the world with their new, you know, their new normal. Um, they have horses down there. Are they doing polo matches? I don't know. These, I've never been up here to the, the Balloon Fiesta Park, but they have like, um, I guess they have golf courses and yeah, it's really windy today though. All the balloons are like crashing into each other. And the thing is what happens is like Colorado is deflating right now. Because what happens is once you hit the ground, you've got to immediately deflate so you don't start being dragged like into buildings, but they're all just crashing right now. They're all coming into the same place. That is crazy. Look at that. They're all just like, yeah, so then they, once you hit the ground, you get dragged. And so if you're in the basket, you don't want to get dragged and then dragged back up again or dragged and fall out of the basket and the basket goes away without you. I don't know how many of these are like runaway balloons. It's fun though. They're all just kind of, uh, I guess they, they have to stay in the same space. There's another Britain one over there. A couple Brits representing. I can't understand a single word the uh, MC is saying. It's all wah, 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 wah. <laughs> But yeah, I think, you know, once you see this in person, it's pretty cool. But I think it would be more fun if I was actually like, if there's a way I could actually help. I don't know. I'll look into that next year. I want, But I want to work with a veterans organization or an organization that, you know, helps underserved communities. I'd rather, you know, put my, put my energy toward that for something like this than, you know, just the uh, wealthy guy that has a Porsche and a balloon in his backyard. <laughs> so, I don't know. Ah, there's a little camper van one as well. That's funny. Got the van life represented. Let me see if I can zoom in. My zoom's terrible on this phone. There it is. I'll put it, I'll put an arrow where it is on the screen. Little camper van. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for, um, I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'll go to Starbucks, go get a Frappuccino and then go wait at Discount Tire. Maybe I'll just go over there now. Okay. All right, well, thank you, Balloon Festival. That was $15 and I didn't even go in. I guess that's the entrance down there. I want to go to the museum though, but I think I'll do the Balloon Museum another time. I'm pretty sure it's open year round. Um, just today it's, you know, it's not a madhouse. That's funny. I would have liked to have camped here though. That would have been fun. Hang out with everybody, but in the meantime, let me uh, let me get back on the road. Let me go to Starbucks. My fingers are frozen, and let's get out of here. Okay, I got some good pictures though. Okay, so I just want to ask this courtesy shuttle lady over here. I don't have an XM pass, but I just want to find out 
the courtesy shuttle what that does if that's for anybody the courtesy I'm, I'm leaving now but the courtesy shuttle is that for anyone that has a mobility issue or anyone who asks anyone that asks okay and if you find a driver that has a radio they yeah. can call for an ada wheelchair oh that's awesome yeah okay cool i was just wondering because i kept saying seeing them around but okay okay awesome okay i'm leaving now thank you that's great. Yeah, she said, I don't know if you can hear her. She said that anyone that has a wheelchair, they can, if they have the, the courtesy shuttle has a radio, they can uh, radio for somebody, um, you know, to bring a wheelchair accessible one. But yeah, anyone that needs a courtesy shuttle can ride a courtesy shuttle. That's fantastic. Albuquerque. I love you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Baby with stroller. <laughs> it's like, it's already only like nine o'clock in the morning. They already got a balloon and the baby's done. <laughs> so, okay. Let me get out of here. I love that I just drive around the balloon festival, no problem. <laughs> so, uh, plenty of parking. Yeah, there's all these camper vans. That'd be so fun to like boondock here. And there's tons and tons of parking. Yeah, there's lots and lots of golf carts. I think next year, I think next year what I'm going to do is drive a courtesy shuttle around. I mean, that's what, that's what my volunteering is going to be. I will be here for seven days next year <laughs> and help people that have mobility issues. That's what I want to do put my put my uh, heavy right foot to good use so anyway okay there's a balloon museum I don't think it's open it is bright out here okay let's go to discount tire and let's go get my tires fixed and I'm gonna go to Santa Fe I'm gonna get out of here and I think I'm just gonna go I've never really hiked um, I've never really hiked in Santa Fe except the Windsor uh, the Windsor hike that kicked my ass but I've done everything in Santa Fe that you can do I don't think I want to do it. I haven't actually worked out in five days, so I don't really know if I want to go to the gym either. Maybe I'll go run. I don't know. Maybe I'm in the mood to go run for an hour on the treadmill. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, who knows? Okay, well, thank you. That was short and sweet. Balloon Festival. And now I'm behind a golf cart. Always fun when I record a whole bunch and it doesn't record. Anyway, so I'm leaving now. I'm leaving the um, I'm leaving the fiesta. So yeah, so it's getting busy. The line is forming, and uh, this is fun. So I just saw the cop that let me uh, go through and park for free, and just uh, you know, all the cops are standing around. But I'm sure they've got like something to do here. But it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so I think next year what I'm gonna do. What I was talking about for five minutes before I realized I wasn't recording. Um, what I want to do next year is volunteer here and drive one of the mobility golf carts. So I think that's fantastic. And I have a resume because I've driven through the entire country. Um, so I have a resume for driving. But when I was in high school, I went to Catalina Island and everyone drives golf carts there as well. Um, oh my God, they've got hundred thousands of R sorry, thousands of RVs parked over here. I guess there's camping, glamping, right next to a cemetery. Yeah, it's like certain parts of town you don't want to land in on the balloon. But yeah, the balloons are just randomly landing. Like the, I think I said the couple, yeah, this, this one's just going right across the road right now, getting kind of low. That's kind of cool, but that guy is right, that guy's going to hit a power line. That guy is, that's about five feet above a power line right there. That is scary. Yeah, so they're just landing in like the shopping mall parking lot. The couple said they landed in a uh, gas station. I think that's the most fun thing. I feel like, don't even go to the go to the Fiesta Park for a minute. Go take pictures, but drive around town and see where all these balloons are landing. Because <laughs> they're that's what like I guess when they just run out of power, the wind hits them wrong. Um, so yeah, you can just uh, I guess you have to go like save your uh, balloon once it lands in someone's backyard. That's kind of funny. So okay, so I'm heading now to Discount Tire. Um, so I can feel my front wheels, and it's only the front wheels that do that because uh, the back wheels are fine. But I rotate my tires, so I haven't rotated the tires at all on this entire six-month trip because I knew the front tires were going to wear out more. So, um, so I wanted to protect the back tires. So now what I'll do is go get my new tires, get the back tires put on the front, and then that way I'll be free and clear because I'm going to be recording a episode for a major, ah, for a major YouTube channel uh, on the 24th of, of, of October, and I have to drive up a mountain to go do that. So. Um, oh my god, I'm over by the bike path. So you kind of said, oh, I can go rollerblading. Maybe that's what I'll do today. I'll get my tires done and then I'll go rollerblading on the bus trail because the bus trail's right here. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> I get like hit by a balloon. Yeah, I think I'll go rollerblading today. That's what I'll do. I forgot I had my rollerblades. 
Um, I will go rollerblading um, on the Boss Trail right down here. I usually do about 10 or 15 miles. Um, so I think I'll do that. It shouldn't be too busy on a Tuesday. And then, um, then I'll head up to Santa Fe once the bikes are ready. I'll head up to Santa Fe by, um, what time is it right now? It's only like 937. So I'll head up to Santa Fe this afternoon. It's only an hour away and go get my bikes. As long as I'm there by six, I just need to pick up at least one bike so I can go riding tomorrow. And I think I'll just do La Tierra trails again. Um, and then I need to work on, I've got a big project I have to work on. I've got to fill out this big spreadsheet and I'm just going like plugging through it. So I've got probably maybe a day or two more of working on that thing. And then I'll go back to working on videos. So my next video is Biscayne. So I'm gonna do, do that, but I don't know where I'm going. I'm going down here to the Distant Tower. So I will talk to you later. Yes, it's fun. Yeah, see these people you can't really see, but there's people that have, uh, they're sitting in the back of a truck and they've got a balloon in a, uh, in a pickup truck. So it's funny. Look, yeah, these people. So this is what it's looking like all over town. It's like everyone's got these trailers and they're all like gearing up to put the balloons together. So I guess they're just finding a random parking lot wherever they can set up the balloon. And again, like cops don't care. Everyone's like, have fun, enjoy, just don't crash into a power line or a gas station. Sorry for all the bugs in my window, but I wanted to show you. So we've got a European van here. That's a Mercedes from Germany. We have a, um, another Sprinter from Massachusetts. We've got a bunch of RVs. We've got a camper van and there is a Nissan. Little Nissan. Aw, there's a Prudence's cousin right there. You're so cute. Where are you from? I don't know. You don't have a license plate on and you don't have any Max vans or anything. So I don't know if you are a camper van, but you've been here all night. So then we've got these RVs over here. This guy's all set up to live here with his generator going. I'm glad I didn't park next to him. I always park way in the back anyway. And then we have a bus and then we've got some more sprinters. You can't see all the bugs on my window. And around here, and then I parked another car that's broken down. And then I parked all the way down here. So I usually park next to the pod or over here in this pod. Kind of like helps to drown out the noise from the generators and stuff. Okay, let me go to, um, let me go, whoops, sorry, sir, staring at me. Uh, all the people eating breakfast at Cracker Barrel, like why the hell are all these camper vans here? Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go to Planet Fitness and I'll be driving past that big old plume of smoke. I do hope somebody just set a fire in their backyard and nobody crashed because I was watching videos of like, literally like they'll just land anywhere once they either, once the wind gets too much or they kind of lose a bit of momentum or like they run out of fuel or whatever it is, like, or they just for safety reasons have to land. They just land wherever. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to watch, but it does put in, into perspective that it is quite dangerous to be in a balloon, but um, never been in one. Don't think I'll ever go in one, but anyway. Okay, let me go, let me go, let me go. Yeah, so there's a ton of people here, but there's something on fire over there. What's going on? I hope it's okay. It's a bunch of smoke. I'm really hoping that's not a balloon that crashed. That looks like a shit ton of smoke that should not be going off right now. What is happening? So I was just trying to say that like they, you know, go up really early in the morning so that, um, that was actually really concerning, um, but they go up really early in the morning because once it gets hotter than now, it's only like 45 degrees, then the balloons will just rise too much. But there is a whole shit ton of fire going on over there. That's smoke, I don't know if it's fire. What is happening? And those balloons are very close to it, so I don't know if that's a problem or something. But that is not a normal, that's not like a fog machine. That's literally like something is on fire, but it's not black smoke. What the hell is happening? Sorry, I just woke up to show you all the balloons that are like, you know, landing in a Denny's parking lot. And they all have to come down at a certain time. I don't think they can be up further than like 10 a.m. in the morning. So I do not know what that is. I have to drive over there. Okay, let me go to the gym. So I've got to drive that direction. I do hope, I do hope a balloon did not crash. That would be horrific. Okay, let me get going. Anyway, I was just going to show you as well that like in the parking lot, there's a 
crap ton of people staying. All these uh, van lifers. Anyway, okay, let me figure out what's going on over there. I gotta go to the gym, get my nails done, get all the dirt cleaned out of them and shit because I have half of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Santa Fe, Taos on there. And then I need to go drop my bikes off at Trek and then go to the airport sometime afternoon, 12 noon or so, and go work on, I got two videos done, but none of that matters, so I'm concerned about that smoke. So, okay, let me, let me go be a looky loo and go find out what the hell's happening. Yeah, so this Exxon Mobil one just landed in this random parking lot over here. So what these do is anyone can bring their balloon and oh, the British balloons up again. Um, they have like their team of people with the truck, with the pickup truck and the, the trailer, like the cargo trailer. And they'll just kind of run around and like once they've landed, they'll, they'll go chase after them and go find them and, and bring them back up um, or pack them up and, and, you know, put them away. So, yeah, kind of cool. But like I said, I was already here. <laughs> So funny they're so they're so big and they just land them and landing in like a target parking lot um but yeah so um yeah once you see them once you know it's, unless you're participating i think it'd be pretty cool but next year i'm definitely going to volunteer this is definitely something i want to volunteer on the mobility golf cart to help people that need extra assistance to get around um but anyway so yeah so i'm going to the planet fitness right now defy gravity that's funny oh it's the uh wicked the um uh, Broadway show. Yeah, so over there. Okay, I think it's a power plant. I don't think it's a fire. That was that was <laughs> pretty scary. Anyway, okay, where the hell is my Planet Fitness? Uh, Jefferson Street. Okay, well, thank you, Albuquerque. I'll be back again next week for another week. I'm just like literally hanging out in this in New Mexico for like two or three weeks uh, just to kind of wind down from my trip. But I will be home in Houston this weekend, uh, hanging out with some friends and. Um, I'm not going to go ice skating so I get it at 5 a.m. and I need to decide if I'm driving back Sunday or Monday with the car. I'm not in a hurry to get back. I do have to drive all the way back to Houston next Friday or Saturday, probably next Friday evening. I can do it in one day but if I go in the car I've got to sleep in the car. So I'll probably go back um, Saturday, well no Friday, I'll drive back Friday and then um, there are police service here. Why is he suddenly stopped? don't know what he's doing. I swear this town is kind of quirky. No one cares where you park or what you do. <laughs> you know, it's just such a chill place. I love it. I would not live in Albuquerque though. I would live in, um, I would not live in Albuquerque. I would live in uh, Santa Fe, but Albuquerque is where everything is at. So I'm going back toward Balloon Fiesta Park and go over these railroad tracks. Hang on. Okay, so it looks like the balloons are coming down now. That's pretty cool though. Oh, look, there's one right there. See, that's what I'm saying. They just like literally land in the middle of the street and then they pack them up. So I think it's um, it's almost nine o'clock. So I think they're all landing now. It looks like they're all coming down. That's really cool. But they go up like super early, like right at six o'clock in the morning. And then at night, I think they go up again because they had a night show. So yeah, there's another one over there. It's really cool though. It's super, super fun to watch. It's such a like, such a lot of energy like everyone's just kind of having fun it's such a random thing aliens are like what are these humans doing so this is balloon fiesta park i need to go through here hopefully i can get through i don't want to go in i want to go to the planet fitness oh shit it's sending me this way to planet fitness is it gonna let me through uh, it gonna let me through thank you sir okay I don't actually know. I didn't remember going this way to get to Planet Fitness. <laughs> yeah, so there are all the police. Sorry, I'm just babbling. The police are packing everything up now, so I think the morning bit is over. And I bought a $15 ticket, but I don't even know what it does. Like, there was no ticket entrance. There was nothing. So, um, yeah, everybody's leaving. See, that right here, they're packing up the van. They're packing it up. You can see right over here, they're just like, that's where it landed, on the side of the road. And you've got, like, 10 people helping to pack it up. I'm actually going to go just a little bit further to go see them now that they're all landing. That's really cool. I don't need to find a new word for cool. You see all the school buses too. It's so funny. These are just like people's houses right here. He's got a shit ton of... Oh, look! <laughs> Balloon just landed in someone's backyard. That is too funny. Look at that. You can see that. It's just like, we're just going to land right there. I don't think you really have a say on where your balloon goes. And I'm stuck behind all these buses, which is not a good thing. Um, anyway, but yeah, you can see. 
all of that. Okay, let me try to get around these buses. I need to do a U-turn. I think they're all doing U-turns. So I am inadvertently back in the Balloon Fiesta Park trying to turn around to go to Planet Fitness. So there's another one, they're landing. Yeah, everyone's landing now. You just don't want to land in like a cactus field. <laughs> That's the only thing. It's really cool though. Yeah, those Ekkies, it's funny. It's like, don't drink and balloon. I need to do a U-turn. I am very stuck right now. This is not where I need to go. Anyway, <laughs> there's another planet for this closer to me, but this is more fun. Anyway, um, these are cool. Really, really fun to see. I'm glad I, I'm glad I was here this week, really glad. All right, I'm gonna see if they're gonna let me do a U-turn because I'm trying to get to Planet Fitness. I'm not wanting to be here right now. Yeah, no, I just, I love being in the desert. I love being out here. There's something about just, it's so cold right now. It's like 40 degrees, but it's blue skies and sunny. And it's just something about a very refreshing, very refreshing thing. Let's check out these guys. Just because a balloon landed in the middle of the intersection. I so can't go any I can't go anywhere then. I you have to take the right to San Mateo and make your way from there. Oh, I live in Texas, I don't know. Any I'm just going by the GPS, I don't know. Yeah, no worries. You can take the right to San Mateo and it'll redirect you. Where? So I'll take How? the right onto San Mateo. Okay. And then from there it'll direct you. Okay, I don't know why it took me through here. I've never gone through here before. No worries. No. Okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, all right, yeah, all well, the balloons it. Okay, so they closed the road that way because the balloon landed, but it landed on the side of the road. It was one that I passed. So there was no balloon in the road. <laughs> so they still have to um, have space to fold it up, roll it up and stuff. It's like doing my uh, suitcase. This guy's turning around. Yeah, so there's no reason to pay for a $15 ticket. <laughs> you, should just, you can just come here for free and just park and watch everything. So I don't know. Okay, so hopefully San Mateo. Okay, so it's going to send me back down the road I came up. It's going to take me that way. Similar ETA. Okay, it says it's 1.2 miles away. <laughs> Don't know why it sent me this way. It's fun though. Glad I got to see the tail end of the uh, festival. I think it goes on for another couple more days, actually. I think it goes on for um, till the 15th, the 7th till 15th. So, Wiley Coyote parking. <laughs> so, if you want to see the funniest episode of Wiley Coyote, it's the one with a catapult. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he pulls the string, <laughs> he's so crazy. Anyway, okay, all right, let's go. I'm currently stuck in the exiting traffic, so I guess, yeah, the morning festivities stop at nine because it looks like every balloon's coming down now. And um, I guess it picks up in the afternoon. So the $15 ticket, from what I understand, it's either for the morning session or evening session. Uh, last night they had fireworks that was pretty cool i was like what is all that banging so and then all that plume of smoke was from the power plant so thankfully that wasn't uh because it didn't look like fire it was white smoke so it looked like pollution um anyway yeah all the balloons are being deflated oh it's so sad oh the little little dinosaur that's the size of a seven-story building <laughs> all right this is not too treacherous actually it's fine i'm just going not even like half a mile away from the gym so i'm just going to go further and not make a right turn I'm gonna make a right turn on the second right turn which will take me past because what it did it took me through the park to make a left turn now I'm just gonna end up making the second right turn and that should get me uh, right to the gym and then shower I haven't showered hate to say it haven't showered all week <laughs> so but I have, all, I have not also really like sweated because it's been so cold here so of course I sweat the tears of unicorns <laughs> All right, um, okay, that's all. All right, bye-bye.